Welcome back to another episode on the Smacker Channel. I'm your host Abdullah, and you made the right choice tuning in. Today, we're gonna talk about opening the third eye. I don't like using the term opening because I feel like it gives people the wrong impression of what to expect when they go through this process of awakening. The third eye is activated through the pineal gland. And the third eye and pineal gland are essentially the same thing. The pineal gland is just a scientific term and the third eye is a spiritual term. It's like tomatoes and tomatoes. They just haven't came together yet. It's different for everybody. We're not gonna say opening your third eye, we're gonna say activating it, because that's what you have to do. It's there, it's open, it's just dormant, and you have to activate it. The process of awakening and activating your third eye is different for every single person. It's hard to explain what you see and experience during your awakening. Today I'm gonna go through a step-by-step, -step, well not really a step-by-step, -step, but just one type of method on how to activate and fill your third eye. And I've done a lot, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. If you're watching this, you're lucky because I already went around and watched all those other videos and I've actually practiced this myself and I bundled it all into one so that you don't have to go around and do all that. This might not work for you. And if it doesn't, there's something wrong with you, obviously. No, if it doesn't work for you, it just means that your pineal gland is probably blocked by a lot of the distractions and chemicals in it, today's environment, society, or you're in a, you're not focused, you're not in your zone, you're not on that level yet. But it takes time and practice. The method I'm gonna talk about is I say for beginners and you can make it more advanced the more you practice it. But let's get rolling. First things first, you gotta be in a relaxed environment. Quiet, not too much noises. You can't find an environment like that. That's perfectly fine. You just gotta focus more. The second thing for this process is you gotta get a breathing pattern. I say do six, eight, four. That means you breathe in for six seconds and you hold it for eight seconds and then you let it out for four. Those numbers can be easily altered. You can breathe in for three seconds, hold it for one, whatever you wanna do as long as you're comfortable and you have a breathing pattern that's making you feel more conscious and in tune with your surroundings and yourself because that is the end result of activating your third eye, a higher consciousness and you're more involved and connected to the present, the right now. Now, after you got into a nice, quiet, relaxing environment, you got your breathing down, what you need to do is kind of, you know, tap, rub, smack on that area where your third eye is located and the entrance to your pineal gland. So once you tap right there a couple of times, several times, and get a little feel for it, what you need to do is rub your hands together now keep in mind, we're not just you know, we're doing all this at the same time. So we're still getting that breathing going. This is all an accumulative effort. So you got your breathing down and now you tapped it a couple of times. Now you're gonna rub your hands together. Rub them together and you create some heat. And then I want you to put, once there's heat that you've created in your hands, put it over your head where you tapped. After you've created the heat from rubbing your hands together and you played around with your third eye, you need to look up. Look up, but keep your eyes closed, but you're looking up to like the top of your skull. Look up, you got your breathing down. You should be feeling a little sensation around there at this point. So you keep all that together. Now this next step, it's mature. I don't know how to like, I don't know how to explain it without 
I don't know how to explain this next step to somebody who's not open-minded and mature. So if you're neither of those, bye. So the next step is called the deer exercise. And what it essentially is, is clenching slash like squeezing your anus, your buttocks. Now, some people are like, oh, hold up, homie. Like, I don't get down. Like, if you're mature and open-minded and definitely self-confident and you know who you are, this next step shouldn't be an issue and it should definitely increase the process of activating your third eye. This is a meditative process and meditating takes on many different forms such as listening to music or exercising. This is just one method and I've tried it with several people and they have told me that it works. Now let's recap the steps that we're doing right now. In a comfortable environment, we're breathing, played with our third eye, and now we're about to do the exercise. And I forgot to mention one thing, how could I? When you're meditating, the stance and position you're sitting in does determine a lot. It's like how you position yourself, your hands especially, you always gotta have great posture, will determine what type of energy you receive from the universe. But now, yeah, like I said, you're in your position, you're breathing, tapped, literally tapped into your third eye. Now you're breathing, you're looking up. Now here's where the last step comes in. When you do the six, eight, four breathing method, when you breathe in for the six seconds, right when you start on the eight, when you're holding the breath, you clench your anus and you hold it and you're looking up all at the same time and when you exhale you release from your anus but keep looking up and keep doing this pattern this might not work for everybody it's worked for a lot of people especially that i've been involved with i hope it works for you let me know what you think i'll see you guys on the next episode yeah.